Non-destructive methods for determining concrete strength. In Turkey, which is located in the earthquake zone, it is important that buildings are built as earthquake resistant. Earthquake resistant construction is the one whose soil properties of its location have been studied, designed in accordance with the relevant regulations and specifications, using quality materials in accordance with the standards and built with the quality worksmanship and applications. Knowing whether a construction is earthquake resistant is of great importance for the safety of life and property, and the conditions of the construction can be determined by scientific examinations and analyses by experts. The highlight of this point is that the examinations and analyses are carried out with the least damage to the construction as possible. Nowadays, with the devices and equipment developed as a result of scientific studies in the world, concrete strength can be determined non-destructively, in other words, without debris. Determination of concrete strength using non-destructive methods with equipment such as concrete test hammer, rebar locator, and ultrasonic concrete tester is carried out as follows. Firstly, the appropriate areas or zones where non-destructive experiments will be carried out in the building to be examined are scanned and selected. If the architectural drawing of the concrete structure is available, this area is marked on the project and a code number is given and the measurements are processed with these codes on the devices. The most important condition for using non-destructive methods effectively with minimum error is determination of the rebar network inside the concrete structure. Electronic rebar detectors and ground penetrating radars are used for this. These devices give both visual and auditory warnings when on the axis of the rebar. So it's used to pinpoint the exact location of the rebar. The rebar network is drawn in chalk on the surface. Readings to be made with other devices afterwards are measured in rebar-free zones. Otherwise, the measurements to be made on the reinforcement will give incorrect results. After the reinforcement network is determined, surface rebound values are measured with the mechanical Schmidt concrete test hammer or electronic Schmidt live to obtain information about the strength of the concrete. The time factor must be calculated for the most accurate measurement by the Schmidt concrete test hammer. It is necessary to take into account the deviations that will arise from the hardening of concrete surfaces as a result of carbonation over time. For this carbonation of the concrete surface, which occurs due to the age of the concrete structure to be measured, is determined using the phenolphthalein solution. An initial reading is observed. The surface is opened with a hammer and a chisel until the layer colored by the solution is reached. Reading is taken after the breaking for one more time. A time factor is calculated by the division of these two readings. This can be used as a correction factor for the readings in the entire concrete structure. Correlation of deviations arising from the hardening of concrete surfaces as a result of carbonation over time and the detection of cracks and voids in the concrete are the next stages in determining concrete strength. The ultrasonic concrete tester comes into action to determine whether the compressive strength values observed on the concrete surface are represented throughout the concrete. Measurement is made in three ways with the ultrasonic concrete tester, direct, semi-direct, indirect, or surface. Compressive strength obtained with the necessary corrections of the rebound values from the Schmidt hammer, the surface velocity values from the ultrasonic concrete tester, and the minimum number of core samples are evaluated by correlating them through tables as a trio and final comprehensive strength information about concrete is obtained. Non-destructive methods should be supported by the process of core sampling, which is a destructive method. After the marking is complete and the rebar locations in the column are determined, the cylindrical diamond-tipped core drilling machine is fixed to the column. The concrete is cut with the help of a diamond knife and a core sample of the appropriate diameter and depth is taken from the concrete structure. 
This is the destructive method used in determining concrete strength. It is important that the number of cores is kept at a minimum number in conformity with the relevant standards in order to reduce the damage to the construction. The core samples are sent to the laboratory and capped and subjected to compressive strength tests in the compression testing machine. Carrying out these non-destructive and destructive tests in a way that supports each other as a whole may allow for a forward-looking serious report on the construction and, if necessary, a reinforcement or rehabilitation project. No measurement alone may be sufficient, but if all methods are used together, the most accurate and realistic results are achieved. Turkish Ready Mixed Concrete Association